Hey guys, I got a chance to check out Tech Jacket number one, which is a physical issue this week. Uh, if you remember last year, they announced that they would be doing a short, a digital short story uh, coming from Tech Jacket. Uh, and then it, it, it guess, I guess it got a big enough uh, out, outcry for a physical series that it came out with a new number one written by Joe Keating. Uh, I did like this story. Of course, it picks up with our main character, Tech Jacket, and his father, who backs him up on everything, on all of his adventures. And he's fighting uh, various aliens, aliens throughout the galaxy, but he does come back to Earth. Now, the book is great. The artwork is fantastic by Kerry Randolph. I re this, that is what really drove this book for me. I've met Joe Keating. He's a fantastic writer. But I, I, and I, again, I love the storyline of this book. But one complaint I had, and it's a big one, it has nothing to do with what's going on in the Invincible universe. Now, Tech Jacket touches back down on Earth, so he's got his own problems. I get that. But what's going on in Invincible is huge. And I just read the, the, the issue that came out last week. And what happened in that issue was absolutely insane. And for them to leave out Tech Jacket in this big of a way, it really sort of upsets me. But I've met Joe Keating. He's a great guy, and his writing definitely sh shines through in this book, even though you're lacking what's going on in the Invincible book. The artwork is fantastic. Uh, I'm really glad that they brought Tech Jacket back as a physical book, even though Robert Kirkman's not uh, writing it. Joe Keating is a, is a fantastic uh, uh, writer for this book. He's, he makes it fun. The artwork is great. I'm going to give this book four out of five nerd skulls uh, because the story is still really good, even though... I really wanted to see what was going on in Invincible, but I'll wait until the last issue for that one. So check out this one, and I'm going to give it four out of five.